We want to find all the rows in our data for which sales rep is Mary and the product is cap. And for that, I just want the date and the quantity. I don't want to extract all the columns. So let's do that using the filter function. I can come here and I can say, let's first focus just on the criteria and not the results, the columns that we want, and then we will address that. So let's say I want to filter this array here, and it gives me the name of the table. That's one thing I forgot to show you, but this table is named sales data. And I want to include all the rows where in this column I get the value let's say Mary. So if I put comma, I jump to the last parameter. That's not what I want. I want another parameter in the include field. So I need to put this in between parentheses. So this is one condition. Because I want an and, remember the operation we needed to use? It needs to be multiplication. So times, it's we use the asterisk for that. And then here, in between parentheses, we put the other condition. And the other condition will be that we want the product. So this column here. And because I am using a table, you see, instead of indicating D11 to D30, it gives me the name of the table and then the name of the column in between square brackets. That's quite useful. It's much easier to read the formula like that. So I want the, the rows where the product is equal to cap. Okay. So I finished with my include conditions, comma, and now I could enter what I wanted to give me if nothing found. So it could be the text, nothing found, no data found, enter. So let's see if this is correct. We have two rows with cap. For Mary only, we had six, but Mary cap, we have one here, and then we have one there, seven, quantity, quantity two, and all the other Mary rows, they don't they are not about caps. So there's our result. Now we don't want all the columns. We just want column for the date and the quantity. I just want to extract those two columns. My preferred method is the following. I come here and I will put zeros or ones depending on whether or not each one of these fields is one of the fields I want. So I want date and quantity. So I don't, client, I don't want, I put a zero. Date, I want, I put a one. Product, I don't want, zero. Quantity, I want, one. I don't want zero, I don't want zero. Okay, just to help me now with my formula here. And now what I do is, okay, this filter gives me all these. Now I can filter this result and choose the columns I want. And this trick, I learned it from Leila Garani, so a shout out for her and thank you to her for uh, sharing this, this technique. So I create a new filter formula and then at the end, I enter an array. So for that, we use curly brackets and inside the array, I put a list of zeros and ones depending on whether or not I want to get that column. So I'll go, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, enter. And there we go. So now we have the dates and the quantities. Of course, again, the dates do not show formatted because the filter function does not do that for us. So if I go short date, we can see, let's see if this is correct. Mary and cap. Mary and cap, we have May 2nd, quantity two, and we have May 3rd, quantity seven. So that's correct, okay? So that's how we could do it with, with the filter function, one way at least of doing it. 